So the GTA 6 map looks incredible. Now I need to say before I get into this video that this isn't the official map. IGN have done an article about this and I think PC Gamer have done an article about this as well calling this the official map. It is not the official map, this is a community project. But before we get into today's video, throughout December I'm giving you the chance to win a PS5. All you've got to do is comment on one of my videos in December and subscribe to the channel. I'll be announcing the winner on the 22nd of December, so good luck to everyone that enters. So this map here is a community project and what we mean by community project is is that in 2022, for those that don't know, there was a massive leak that came out, which was about an hour and a half's worth of gameplay from inside the game. This was in like the pre-alpha testing, so the footage looked a bit rubbish. All it was the developers testing the game on the back end, testing some of the features, animations, and some of the mechanics within the game. Someone hacked the Rockstar Games Slack channel, and if you don't know what Slack is, it's just like a, a messaging service that a lot of corporate companies use, and someone gained access to Rockstar Games Slack channel, and obviously got their hands on all the shared video clips within that Slack channel, which was all from the game. Now I can't post that leaked footage because obviously Take Two Interactive would take my channel down but within that footage on screen there was debug script and in the debug script it contained coordinates to where that bit of footage was taken from the map. So as you can see here there's a grid system on this map so what people have done is they've plotted out various bits of footage from the game with these pinpoints here which allows us to locate where each of those shots were taken. So there's many different versions of this map and layers and that's what this is on the right hand side. This shows us all the various different updates that we made to the map over a period of time. So if I get rid of that map there and go to the first map. This was the first iteration of a theorized map, but the latest one we have, which is following the release of the trailer, is this one here. Let me just turn the original one off. So before we dive into some of the details on this map, something I do want to clarify is there was a similar project for GTA 5 and, and it was scarily reliable. So the original map that leaked was pretty damn close to what we saw in GTA 5, albeit the shape of the map was slightly different. But So this was the initial map leak we got for GTA 5. And as you can see, it's pretty damn accurate to the game itself. So I'm expecting that this map will be somewhat similar to what we can expect in GTA 6. So all these yellow shapes here that are building shaped are the buildings that we can see from the trailer and people have put the real world counterpart names following it as well. So for example here, Hotel Dixon, which in real life is Hotel Victor, fun fact about that, Hotel Victor was designed by a guy called Dixon, so I think that's Rockstar paying homage to the designer, but we can see here the in-game names and the real life names. So another thing we've got on this map is the Venetian Islands, so in real life this is called the Dolido Island, and I think Rockstar mixed a trick there, because with Rockstar's sense of humour, I would have called that, rather than Dolido Island, I would have called it Dildo Island, it's obvious shape. They've missed a trick there, but whatever. And you can also see they've simplified it, so in real life there's actually, I think there's actually three or four different islands, and they've simplified this down a little bit. Now I'm assuming this is where the Vassetti Mansion would be that we saw in GTA Vice City. Now the leaks we got about a week before the GTA 6 trailer came out, one of the people said that we're expecting to see three cities in the game and a lot of people started rumouring and speculating that that means we're going to get like Liberty City, San Andreas, Vice City, that's not what they mean. What that actually means is we're going to get Vice City, probably Port Galhorn over here and in terms of the other cities we're not too sure, it's probably something like Copperhead or Sundown Beach or they're basically areas within the map that have a population of people within them, not made cities. Now within the footage in the trailer we can also see the keys and something that we can see that Rockstar have done here is GTA 5 was made for PS3. It was made for really old hardware now. GTA 5 was a dramatically condensed version of LA. Like so many parts of LA were missed out but still Rockstar managed to, to bring it to life and make it feel somewhat cohesive. But Rockstar don't have the same software or hardware limitations now that they did 10 years ago or actually more like 13, 14 years ago when the game entered development. So for example in the trailer where we can see the keys like that is pretty much accurately what the keys look like in real life they've absolutely nailed it and something that we can see from this predicted map based on the coordinates we can see that the map is about two times the size because some of the coordinates over here in like Port Galhorn sort of way but the furthest points away from that were recorded on Vice Beach and that obviously maps out this distance and we can tell the map is this wide and potentially goes this far down. Now from the leaked clips that we had in 2022 there was a mission in Hank's Waffle Diner and after the mission Lucia and Jason exited the diner, came down here, drove all the way down this road and crashed about here somewhere. And in the background of those shots we saw some hills slash sort of mountains which may be indicating that this area is somewhat similar to like Georgia? Now in the trailer we didn't see a lake, Lake Leonida, but this is obviously reference to the massive lake that's in the middle of Florida in real life and I don't think they'd miss that out because that is a massive part of Florida, so to miss that out in the actual game would make no sense. So back in reference to the city side of things, so we also have like Little Haiti which in GTA Vice City, Little Haiti was a really small area, it was tiny. 
it was probably about 10 streets where here we can see a whole different area built up around Little Haiti and that could also lead back into the Wynwood area that we've seen from the leaks as well. So we do have this overlay which is a rough version of downtown but obviously we have no idea at all if this is true or where this information has come from. I don't understand how this information here could have been mapped from what we've seen from the trailer or what we saw in the leaks. So with this overlay of more streets, a lot of the roads here are complete speculation. Obviously the whole map is complete speculation, but in the leaked footage in 2022, there was something called the World Events tab, which basically showed you a load of different world events and stuff that happens. Do you know like GTA 5, where you drive out in the middle of the countryside and a random person would be doing something, or the same in Red Dead Redemption 2, where you'd have a random world activity, there was a World Events list of stuff that happens. So some of the features on this are added from that World Events list as well. And within that World Events list, some areas were mentioned towards the north of the map we could see fairyland which is obviously a reference to disneyland which i'll be really interested to see how rockstar pulled this off and whether something like this actually plays into any of the missions now something that rockstar games haven't done in the past is add children into the games and obviously this being a predominant attraction for children we don't know if this is actually going to be in the game. I have some doubts that they put that in because otherwise it won't be a densely populated area of the map and it wouldn't feel alive and it looks like from what we've seen from the trailer, the whole point is to bring the city to life. Something else is NASA. So this will be something really interesting to see how they implement NASA into the game without making it part of any of the missions. If we have a mission where we go to space, I think I'd probably be less engaged with the game because the likelihood that a random criminal in Miami goes to space is a bit of a stretch. But... Depends how they play it and how they put it in, but really interesting to see how that happens and whether we get to see some rocket launches, that'd be pretty cool. Now we need to talk about Grass Rivers and the reason why we have to talk about Grass Rivers is because it takes up about a third slash a quarter of the map. But also this I think is where most of the weird stuff that happens in the map is going to take place. I think this is where we're going to meet a lot of the, the weirdos like we had in Blaine County on GTA 5. But also this seems like the perfect area for them to implement the Red Dead Redemption technology side of things when it comes to animals. This would be really cool to travel around on boat, on airboat and maybe even go mudding because obviously we saw that in the trailer. I'm really interested to see how this integrates into the story because from what we've seen from the protagonist so far based on the the leaks that we've had and stuff you know it's jason and Sia. we know there's a couple of other characters that i mentioned but none of them seem weird enough to be located in the middle of nowhere do you know what i mean they all seem like main city characters where like in gta 5 it was very clear that trevor wasn't a city boy now the next thing to talk about is bermuda triangle now i think for a fact we probably will get some reference to the bermuda triangle within gta 6 main reason for that is there's so much mythology and lore around the bermuda triangle that to not include it would be missing a huge part of the off coast of florida lore and weirdness and and mystery and i think that obviously rockstar games love creating mystery within their games you've got the mount chiliad mystery I think like the Bermuda Triangle would be the perfect place for them to set another mystery within. Now over here is really interesting how we got some of these islands. I can't remember from the footage if we saw these in the background. I don't think we did. I don't remember seeing these in the in the trailer. So it'd be very interesting to see where this information here came from. But it is known that Rockstar Games internally called GTA 6 Project Americas beforehand. So this could be a link to maybe Cuba or something like that. Maybe it's like in GTA 5 where you start off in North Yankton. This could be maybe one of the first missions that happened potentially in Cuba. Maybe this, you have a mission that's within Cuba and then you go back to, to Vice City, potentially. This is also a potential location for the uh, Bassetti Mansion. So yeah, there's a lot to unpack on this and I don't want to go too massively in depth on it in this video because we just don't have enough information yet. I'm hoping in the next month or two, maybe we get another trailer. I'm thinking probably like February, March, April, we'll get another trailer. And then down the line, we'll have a bit more information from those trailers. But also I think the next trailer is going to primarily revolve around Jason because this last trailer was pretty much about here's the setting and here's a bit about Lucia so I think we'll probably get another trailer about Jason and probably another trailer just about Lucia and her story so I'll be very interested to see how this grows and develops I'll leave a link to this down in the description below so you can have a look and a deep dive into it I've got a lot of questions and not many answers so obviously in this video I've tried to explain as much as I can but I'm very limited with what I can tell you because once again this is based on some of the things that we've seen from the trailer some of the stuff we've seen from the leaks last year Year. In fact, most of it is from the leaks we had last year. But then again, the game has probably changed tremendously since then. But also the game will probably
probably change quite a bit from the trailer as well like you know we know that we're still at least a year away from release a year and a half a year and a quarter away from release rockstar can do a lot in that time period so whether the map will change whether there's things yet to be done within the map that even rockstar haven't considered yet maybe they'll come up with an idea in like a, a month or two's time and decide to add something in we don't know but thank you all for watching today's video there is a link to this down below if you did enjoy today's video please like and subscribe and drop a comment to be entered into the playstation 5 giveaway and i'll see you all in the next video